Hello dear students, how are you? Welcome once again in my lecture. Just we are going to learn about course number 10703, subject pedagogy of the school subject English. In this subject, we will focus on number one point is A4 relation of subject English with other school subject. Myself, Vijay Swatale, Assistant Professor in SSB College of Education, Sri Rampur. Let's learn. According to the dictionary of the meaning of correlation is mutual relations. Correlation is a technique which tries to establish a relationship between various subjects of curriculum. Me dear student, today we are here to learn about what is mean by correlation. Correlation is nothing but the mutual relations and correlation is itself is a technique which tries to establish a relationship between various subjects of the curriculum. In this curriculum, many subjects are learned by the learner and so that curriculum is different one. When we focus on the importance of correlation, how these are useful, see first, correlation between the different subjects gives the knowledge as an integrated one and not broken up fragments. They get a complete single picture. The second importance is that the correlation makes the subject matter more interesting. Third one, knowledge gained through correlation lasts for longer time. Fourth one, English becomes truly workable in life. And fifth one, students learn the application of knowledge in relation to other subjects and to the life situation. And the last one, unity of knowledge is spiritual. Means, we may say that there is really great importance of correlation with different subjects. And right now, we are speaking about English language. When we speak about the correlation, there are three types of correlation. First one, correlation of the subject with daily life. Second, correlation of the subject with other subjects. And third one, correlation within the subject. Means these are three different types of correlation. Let's focus on the correlation of the subject with daily life. And we are here to speak about English language. And English language is really a lingua franca of the world and a language through which we can exchange our views with the people of other countries. It means there are many countries in the world and more than 215 countries are really accepted this English language and so that there is no any kind of barrier in exchanging of various material content from one place to another place and this language really had the relevance to the daily life means learning of English felicitate the establishment of international contact between different nations of the world and it really gives an opportunity to Indians to get employment not only in India but also in other countries. Means right now the whole world is uh, whole world is about to give and take such type of chances and we really the Indians are there, they are really liable for getting employment anywhere in the world. And for this one, in our daily life, when we speak about English language, it gives the opportunities to study English literature. And this English literature is really vast 
and it is rich in nature. So that this English language really helps and it has opened the gates of Western science and technology. So that this is the language of science and technology. And it also serves as a common language of Indians. This is the language of trade and industry. Means we have really seen or we have already studied about the importance of English language where it is the part of science and technology, it is the part of trade and industry, it is the part of law, it is the part of education and more. So that uh, whenever teacher of English language is there, he must use English language for his teaching and he has to correlate the English content with the daily life situations so that student will be familiar with the English language and other uh, part of the daily life. The correlation of English with other subject means here we are what is the correlation between English and Marathi. See there is correlation between English and Marathi. We have already uh, studied our English language with the help of grammar translation method in our school days or at our childhood days when we were learning English language teachers were directly using grammar translation method for the sake of understanding English content because they it was not possible to the teachers means right now at present there are many means are available for getting direct knowledge of English but in those days teacher had to use grammar translation method and this method really proved itself that all the students can learn English effectively but with the help of mother tongue. And in this method each sentence in the book is translated by the teacher into mother tongue of the child since it was mandatory and although the teacher who really has studied himself in English language but when he was about to deliver his lecture in the classes he had to use grammar translation method because for the sake of students understanding and teacher thus correlates English with the Marathi in this method English teacher can correlate English with Marathi by taking various examples in Marathi means when he is about to teach essays, compositions, letters by correlating the content means in his entire life in teaching of English he really used mother tongue or he has taken the help of Marathi language to teach essays, composition and letters means the essays are different one, compositions are different one, essays are written on the basis of your reading, on the basis of your experiences, whereas composition is short, certain sentences are given over there and with the help of these sentences you have to fill in the blanks and you have to realize yourself the which title will be suitable for this composition. And teacher in this English and Marathi, the teacher can also use non Marathi stories by translating them into English. Means, as far as uh, Indian continent is concerned, everyone, everyone tries to translate our own stories into English language. Many fixed stories are there, many fairish uh, stories are, are there folk stories are there and so that so many prose lessons which are taken from Marathi literature by translating the same and teacher can show the relevance of the two stories means if there is a, a drama that is King Lear King Lear was written by English dramatist William Shakespeare and it was translated by Vivar Shirwarkar, Shirwarkar, the great eminent Marathi writer, and he has translated this Kingliya as a Natasamrat. On this novel, on, the, on this drama, we can give the relevance, means there is film. And uh, I think in 
back two years, the Mitsambar was men Lil Road was played by actor Nana Patika, where you can ask our student these are the similarities between Indian drama and English drama. So that teacher may explain English phrases and idioms by using appropriate phrases and idioms in mother tongue means to teach directly all the idioms and English phrases it is impossible impossible task for the teacher but when he uses such type of uh, Marathi in his teaching the student can really understand the meaning of particular phrases and particular idioms and the other one is the correlation between English and Hindi. See, English teacher can correlate English subject to the Hindi subject. The relation will be same as of English and Marathi. Means what are literature? The great literature of Hindi is already have been written by the eminent persons. We can translate these things into English, and we can also give the importance to such writers and for their writing and when we are about to teach particular theme, particular content in your class then we may take the help of Hindi language also. Third one that is English and science. See, without good knowledge of English one cannot learn science and when you are about to learn science particular sentence patterns are used, particular scientific scientific language used uh, for explaining the content and so that it is the English only that knowledge of science is spread throughout the world and so the English teacher try to correlate between both these two subjects English and science so that teacher has to try to acquaint his students with the knowledge of scientific data. He may suggest essays on scientific topics like science, the destroyer or creator, science, whether it is bone, and then interplanetary inter flight, conquest of nature, science and civilization, etc. Means whatever subjects are there, these subjects can be taught effectively by taking the assistance of science and all the scientific terms, the entire knowledge of the world is also included in the science and science, in this science the English language is used so that a teacher should give passages for historical and original scientific works for translation, precise writing, paraphrase, or for appreciation, the teacher should give suitable examples from science while teaching prose content related to science. Means right now, uh, you may see that in our uh, textbook, there are different units and these units are really based on different values. Means they are able to inculcate scientific temper, human values are there, science is there, uh, then ruler life is there, modern life is there, then technology means certain values are there for the implication among the student and there is great correlation between English and science. Likewise, English and history. See, history is a description of the past events. An English teacher can use paragraphs and description of past events. The teacher should correlate English and history while teaching such content. An English teacher may ask students to write essays on historical personalities such as Shivaji Maharaj, Lok Manipula, M.K. Gandhi and his thoughts and about Second World War and its effect. Means whatever history of India, the whatever history of America or the Western country or middle part of the Europe and Eastern countries everything the history itself is written in particular language but when we are about to learn English when we are about to teach English then whatever content which is related related to the history should should be brought 
before the sight of student because of this student can easily understand the great contribution of social reformers contribution of freedom fighters and they may came across with the history of particular country the rise of any country and so that history and english both are really uh, equivalent to each other and they are really giving the importance of particular past events and teacher has to correlate between the history while teaching such content then english and civics an english teacher can correlate civics with english by teaching selected paragraph which have relevance relevance with the civics right now we have we are facing the problem of pandemic covid 19 in this one entire world is facing the facing this problem and what are the duties and the responsibilities of the civilians towards the country these are really told in english also and whatever precautions we are taking right now are really applicable for protesting to covid 19 so that every day when we make any phone call then we can have such type of instructions these instructions are already in english but regarding to the role of particular civilians towards the society how to have the mask on our face how to make the proper distance make the physical distance how to make good use of sanitizer means these things are there where we are the citizen Uh, we have the citizenship of particular country so that we need to follow the each and everything of the nation of the ruling party so that there is great relevance of english and civics after that english and geography for getting the geographical knowledge is always in english language astronomy planetary solar eclipses etc are the concepts of english language only means if you have the connections if you have the uh dh at your home you may see the national geography then discovery then wildlife then epic channel all these channels are there they are broadcasted in english language itself only and for getting the knowledge of entire part of the world we really use english language there is program man versus wild he explains each and everything into english language but if we select hindi language if we select any indian language it can be translated so that english is playing an important role in making good use of all the knowledge of all subjects so that geographical knowledge we can enrich our geographical knowledge enrich now we can enrich the knowledge of astronomy planetary system and solar eclipses in this way today we have learnt about the maxims of we have learnt about correlation